In politics, a group of seven opposition political parties is reported to have on Wednesday formed a new coalition with the aim of fortifying democracy within the nation. Leaders of the political parties reportedly gathered at the Social Democratic Party's National Secretariat in Abuja to launch the movement known as the Coalition of Concerned Political Parties. According to reports, the coalition is comprised of the People's Democratic Party, African Democratic Congress, Social Democratic Party, People's Allied Movement, New Nigeria People's Party, Young Progressives Party, and Zenit Labour Party. The coalition, while expressing worry about the degree of instability the nation is experiencing, urged the judicial system to preserve Nigeria's democracy and free itself of political and executive interference. While hosting a team from the Inter-Party Advisory Council earlier in November, PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar raised concerns about the nation devolving into a one-party state and urged the opposition to band together against the ruling party. Is that what is happening? To help us understand this development, I'm joined on the news by National Auditor, New Nigeria People's Party, Ladipo Johnson. Good to see you, Ladipo. Thanks for giving us your time. Let's begin by establishing whether indeed there was uh, a meeting today at the SDP Secretariat in Abuja. Was there a meeting and who convened it? Good evening. Thanks for having me. Um, unfortunately, um, we, um, when I say we, the New Nigeria People's Party, had a national working committee meeting today. And um, no one at the meeting mentioned um, yesterday's purported meeting. So um, I know that we've had a lot of talk in the press um, about um, people coming together, forming a coalition or a merger. Um, but um, I don't think it's reached any concrete stage. Um, on our part, we, well, at the National Working Committee level, we haven't um, been informed of um, any such intention. Um, of, we haven't been informed officially of any such intention, either from any of the parties you mentioned, or by us going to um, look for other partners. That we have always said that we, um, if it will bring um, good governance to Nigerians, then we're open to talking to people and partnering with people. Um, or other parties, but that really hasn't um, um, happened yet. Uh, uh, but one would expect that in uh, party circles, such a meeting wouldn't be something that's shrouded in any form of secrecy. So are you saying that uh, you are unaware completely of any meeting of this nature holding in Abuja? I am unaware. Okay. But I am if, unaware, yeah. If, if such a meeting should hold, what would be the position of the NNPP as regards the purpose to which a coalition would be formed, no matter the number of parties? Well, as I said, the um, purpose of um, our being in politics is to bring about good governance, etc. to the people of the country. So if there is going to be anything, the first thing is to make sure, you make sure that um, you, are, you have a common platform or a platform that is as close as possible. When I say platform, I mean your belief in um, education, healthcare, Medicare, um, etc. Um, you don't want to get into bed with um, <laughs> Um, odd bedfellows, as it were. If when that is done, then you look at the practicality of um, coming together, etc. So um, I'm sure, um, yes, there are people mooting the idea, mooting the idea, and um, but it will take quite a while 
for it to crystallize into anything because everyone has to go through um, a process. You talk to your members. Then if, they, if you have um, a consensus within your party, then you go through your internal process. But, Latifo, do we, we have, have that? Do we have that time, or is it that your party does not share the concern expressed by the PDP presidential candidates that the nation seems to be devolving into a one-party system? No, 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 no. You, we share the concern, definitely. We share the concern, and you see, you cannot. We cannot say, do we have enough time? You can't jump into such things. That is, that is the reason why I always uh, people have problems. Because you have a constitution in your group. PDP has a constitution. SDP have a constitution. So apart from, you know, wanting to do it, you must all follow, all be it in a speedy manner, your constitutional processes to allow you to have um, to participate in a coalition or in a merger. So it, that's what I mean that it's early days yet. Now okay. it is possible that someone might have gone for a meeting from our party. But what I just said to you at the beginning of the show was that we had a national working committee meeting today and it wasn't mentioned to us. It was not on the agenda. All right, so then. that is why I am not certain that um, we part partook or participated in any such meeting. All right, you've made that abundantly clear. But there's something I would like to ask, though, just picking your brain from somebody who is in the political landscape. Um, one of the uh, parties that we have, or should I say uh, council, is the Inter-Advisory Political Council. That's IPARC. Um, if such a coalition is to emerge at the end of the day, um, and from what we're, the feelers that we're getting is that they're saying it's going to be to strengthen uh, the democracy, what would such a structure look like different from what IPAC is? Well, IPAC, you know, IPAC has people from various parties. So if you have... Um, let's say for the sake of argument, some seven parties coming together. That means that um, if they are coming together and they're collapsing into a party, let's assume they're merging and collapsing into one new party, then of course the size of IPAC reduces because um, seven have become one. And when you become one, you lose your original identity. That is one way to go about it. So, yes, it would be, um, it strengthens democracy in the sense that you now have a broader based, stronger political party with wider, uh, a wider net um, to join more members from. Um, all around the country and um, to be better placed to face um, the ruling party of the center. I mean, you don't seem to have a lot of optimism that such um, a, a coalition would emerge anytime soon. It will need to take some time. Um, I'm hoping that... No, no. When I say... I'm sorry. When I say it will take some time, it doesn't mean it will take 10 years. Okay. You understand? Okay. Yes, it could look look at how the APC came about. Some left the PDP, some from ACN, some from uh, what was it then? Buhari's party then. You understand? They came together. I was uh, I was there then. We were in the APC um, at the beginning of that time. So right. and it it didn't take such a long time. So it right. is a possibility. But I don't want to give you something I'm not sure of. I'm not sure that we had a, um, a representative at, at that meeting. meeting. Uh, fair I'm not sure if that meeting held. So Thank that, you very much. That is why I'm saying that. But it is a distinct possibility. It is being discussed. It hasn't been discussed officially yet, where we are concerned. 
All right, I'm hoping we can have this conversation another time when you um, maybe have further information to share with us. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.